Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Microsoft has rolled out this week's Windows 11 Insider Preview build to the Canary Channel Insiders, which is now build 26227, and this rolled out uh, late yesterday in my region on the 30th of May. Now, first of all, just to go through what's new and the changes and improvements, which um, I thought you may be interested in for the purpose of this video. And as part of this update, um, Copilot is now rolling out as an app. Now, in the stable version, as you may know, and as you can see, it's basically pinned to the right side of the desktop and cannot move. And I have posted on this previously. But basically, you'll be able to resize, move, and snap the window and Copilot like any other native app um, on the system. And currently, in the stable version as well, you can open Copilot with Win and C, the keyboard shortcut Win and C. Now, this is also going to change because as part of the Copilot um, update in the Canary channel for this week, Microsoft say they are retiring, for want of a better word, the Win and C keyboard shortcut. And over and above that, they don't give us any actual indication why they are doing that, but maybe because the Copilot app um, can be pinned to the taskbar, I think that's why they obviously don't it doesn't necessitate the win and see shortcut um obviously according to microsoft so because that app the copilot app will be able to be pinned uh, to your taskbar and i'll leave a video regarding the copilot app in the end screen of this video then moving on to the next emoji once again are getting a couple of changes and um, quite a lot going on in this uh, build with emoji so they're adding support for emoji 15.1 which they say introduces a small number of brand new emojis such as head shaking, horizontally and vertically, phoenix, lime, mushroom, broken chain. Other changes for emoji 15.1 they mention include uh, Unicode's decision to revert family combinations uh, to symbol-like shapes. And Windows has also chosen to stay, Microsoft mentions, with the existing style that use people in family combinations. So we are also supporting the new directionally directionality updates for person, man, woman walking, kneeling with cane, running, manual wheelchair, and motorized wheelchair. And you can now select right facing or the original left facing orientation for these emojis. So quite a lot going on with emoji in this latest Canary Channel build. Uh, then moving on to the next, and this is actually something that's made its way and started to make its way into the stable version already, where they are beginning to roll out a new linked devices page under settings accounts, as we can see, that allows you to manage PCs and Xbox consoles that are signed into that you are signed into with your Microsoft account. This settings page will only show on the Home and Pro editions of Windows 11 if you're signed into Windows with your Microsoft account. And I posted on this yesterday. Um, in the optional bug fix series update that rolled out uh, to the stable version. So this is seems to be rolling out across the board um, in the preview channel and also the stable version um, of uh, Windows 11. And then something else to mention is that they are introducing, introducing suggested replies in the phone link app on Android. So this is just a screenshot more or less of what this is all about. So Microsoft says that this is powered by their cloud-based intelligent suggestion model. This feature is designed, they mentioned, to make your messaging experience seamless and more efficient. So basically, with suggested replies, you'll see three contextually relevant uh, reply bubbles uh, to choose from when you receive a message, as we can see. And the feature is turned on by default, so you can start using it right away simply to select a suggested reply and it will be sent immediately and that's phone link version 1.2405 1.98 and higher and obviously um that's on your android device so guys that's more or less what's new in the canary channel obviously um there are uh, fixes for known issues which is common because it is still the early days and then we do get um, a new known issue as well because it is still early days. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.